All right, so I'm back with Chris, the owner of the TRX Ram that we put the Geyser Off-Road Springs on. And so I've had a bunch of guys asking me different questions about it. And so here it is now with the uh, Geyser Springs 37-inch rubber. He says he's having no clearance issues turning. He obviously hasn't done any jumping or anything or anything, but no, no issues even with the Icon wheels with turning. The mud flaps, no problems. So how does it ride now compared to before? You've put about 500 miles on it since we did the lift. Is it handle ride differently, better, worse? It rides probably a little bit softer uh, than, than than factory did. Okay. Um, you definitely can feel the uh, the variable rate. I mean, it gets stiff when you get off road a little bit. Yep. Uh, towing, I've towed once before we installed springs and once after and it tows my smaller trailer so much better I mean, right on it was great towing last weekend yeah and you're towing how much weight is that you got four seater can-am yeah it's we're probably only towing three thousand pounds with the trailer sure yeah so it just it just like it wasn't there before the springs it sagged real bad yep i loaded it the same way and it sat basically just like this right on nice I mean, it's, it's pretty soft for about the first seems like the first inch or two yep and then it stiffens right up right cool uh noticeable power difference going to the 37 inch tire or does that hellcat motor doesn't give a shit or um i still got more power than any raptor i've ever had <laughs> 37s on it. and you've had right a first and a second gen raptor correct correct, correct. yeah definitely more def definitely more power I'm sure on a dyno or, you know, on a drag race, the 37s are going to be slower. Yeah. Um, fuel mileage probably sucks a little bit more, but. Right. But behind the wheel, you can't tell a difference. Cooler, right? Oh, God. Yeah, no, it looks amazing. So, right on. Yeah, I think that's been the biggest questions guys have had. Now, you did have that off-road dynamic suspension light has come on on the dash a couple of times. And you said you contacted Geyser. Geyser said, you're one of only two people who've had the light come on correct lucky us right right right, right. so um but it's pretty intermittent and i i think i took a long trip like i've only put like 500 miles on it and they've all been short trips but we put a long trip on it last week and and, and i'm just thinking that maybe it just relearned because i sure. haven't had an issue since okay perfect cool all right well i did all the work on it but i never got to go for a ride so now i'm gonna make him take me for a ride <laughs> silly it goes from like 20 to to almost triple digits without even trying here in the video but he put the s and b air intake on it this is like the mo most massive air filter <laughs> i've ever seen but it makes that the hood like fully functional ram air with that giant aftermarket air filter and she really sings good man when he's getting on it this thing is an animal so hopefully we've answered you guys' questions if you got any more link them down below and we'll see if we can figure it out for you so he's got the taser programmer system in it and there's a thing you can do where it goes into light show mode so it's kind of neat that way too. 